name is Levi Tauber. I'm a manufacturing engineer here at Kurt. My, my responsibility since I've been here has been mostly setting up new cells and kind of incorporating automation um, into some already existing processes and really working with automation and setting that up. I can't really imagine my job without SolidWorks because we're limited on floor space. So, so my job particularly, um, I'm, I'm developing new cells to go out on an already full floor. I mean, we use every square inch of our workspace. The job is to design a new cell and, and implement it and you have to have space for that. And so what SolidWorks has done for me is takes the guesswork out. Like if I want to leave a, an inch of clearance in, in, in a location where the robot arm is swinging, I know there's one place where you know, an inch between where the robot's reaching and um, you know, a, a very expensive, sensitive piece of, of electronic equipment. As, as long as I program the robot correctly, that will be a, a viable option. It's gonna work. Um, I'm gonna have the space I need. I think one of the biggest deals with automation is being able to have one person manage many different operations. If one person can work in collaboration with a robot, you should be able to double or triple your production. A big thing for us is because of the weight of our product, it reduces the amount of issues with worker fatigue. We have very large castings, repetitive motions, uh, lifting motions, uh, carrying motions, and if we, can, if we can reduce the amount that our operators and machinists have to lift every day, that's a benefit not only for um, reduction in, in accidents if somebody were to drop something, uh, but also makes it easier for our machinists to focus on their job, which is, you know, making uh, tool changes or uh, offsets, making alterations to the programs instead of using their time to simply lift the product into the, into the machine itself. So definitely the way I see that robotics will, will impact Kurt in the, in the coming, you know, 10, 15 years is this issue of we, we don't have enough labor um, right now to keep up with the demand for our product. So we, we have to be really strategic in, in where we place our skilled guys. And, and what robotics does is it allows you to take those, those menial, repetitive tasks and, and take those out of the hands of your skilled workers and put those, in, those guys in the, the areas where they're really most effective. Because of the evolution of robots and what we've got out there, a lot has been integrated into SolidWorks, so a full layout can be brought in so you can see the robot load the machine and you know the space requirements needed. Um, that's the biggest thing, I think, is, is everything's kind of transitioning to more robotic and automation. Um, we're looking to have, you know, a full gauging of what our environments include, so. With my background in SolidWorks, I, I wanted to update one of the legacy vices that we have here. I wanted to do the best job that I could, and I knew that I could use FEA to design a better vice. That really set a precedent when our analysis on SolidWorks matched our real life testing. Being able to go through and make those minute changes very quickly and, and see the results and, and then be able to have your drawings automatically change saves me time, you know, pull an ECO, change the rev, change it in, in our, in our uh, MRP system and we're off and running. Our guys, they take every single product and they, they, they clean it, you know, clean it by hand, they polish it up and they, they oil it by hand so that, so that every part is clean, it's sparkly and it's protected going out the door. The, the kind of detail work that you can do with a human, human eyes and human hands is sometimes difficult to get the same quality with a machine doing the same, the same process. We are kind of the industry standard on, on high quality work holding equipment and so you know, quality is our name, like we have to protect that.